Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we got some cool news and we're gonna go down right here cuz Mr. Seajard and yes, I say Mr. Seajard cuz basically a lot of people still think that he's a woman, but uh, he's actually a man So Mr. Seajard is coming to the global version this Friday and we're gonna be able to get a five star select summon ticket Which is sick so the story event, you're gonna, you guys are going to be able to get some lapis, uh, you're going to be able to get some equipment, and also you're going to be able to get that beautiful, beautiful 5 star select 7 ticket. So we're going to go right here, down below, so I think you guys know how it works, the uh, these type of missions. So let's see exactly what we can get as rewards. So we're going to be able to get the crystals, obviously, so these things are going to be used to be able to... Um, Awaken the abilities of our characters. So if you guys are lacking some of these crisps, well, here's your char your chance to farm it. So uh, limited equipment. So we're gonna be able to get the Ensign uniform, which is a piece of cloth, uh, clothes. Defense 15, magic 30, spirit 30, only for male units. So not that bad at all. I like these stats on it, especially the magic and uh, the spirit 30, 30 as raw stats. They're really, really good. And uh, we're going to be able to get a Umbrella Pistol, I guess. Uh, the Silk Parasol, which is a gun. Uh, attack 68, Defense plus 25, enables Auto Limit. And uh, you're going to be able to fill your LB Gauge every single turn. So this things, uh, these things actually, they're not that bad, especially if you're a new, newer player or even a veteran player. You can still find some usage to uh, some of the equipment right here. Then, let's follow up with the uh, unit intro quest so basically in the vortex you guys are going to be able to do this all you have to do is you just do the limit uh you just do the limit you just use the limit burst and uh, i gotta say the limit burst of siege art is really really nice uh you guys can see right here uh once you're seeing it go on youtube check out the video because it's really really cool so uh initial completion reward you get a rare summon ticket clear the quest 100 lapis Use a limit burst, obviously you use is limit burst, uh, get a rare summon ticket, use super wink, you get three shield pots, because, you know, he's a tank, so you want to build up his defense, and use dangerous rose, you get one star quartz, which is not that bad. So, let's go over the real stuff, featured summon, the good thing is the only five star on that banner, so uh, the rates are going to be a little bit higher for him, which is really good. Uh, basically we got two more four star and one three star but let's be honest three star we're not gonna talk about her too much and uh, the four star uh, not that bad they got some good TMRs but uh, this right here this is this is what you want to go for so basically he's a really really good tank uh, you guys are gonna be able to use the step of summon so basically 500 lapis for the first step which is a one point times fight right up uh, on the second step is 2000 lapis you're going to be doing two summons and you're going to get 5% Moogle. On the third step, 1,500 Lapis, you get four summons with uh, two times rate up. On the fourth step, 3,000 Lapis, you're going to get six summons plus a 10% Moogle. And on the last step, you get a 10 plus one and a five times rate up. So hopefully you guys are going to be able to pull him by then or basically pull two or three copies of him. Because this Super TMR is really, really good. So hopefully you guys are going to be able to pull at least two Siege Art this Friday. So Siege Art, really, really cool unit. Uh, he offers some really strong breaks to uh, defense and spirit. He uses defense as his attack. So basically like uh, Lila works with her spirit. Him, he works with his defense. Or uh, I forgot the name of uh, the big dude that came with Adam Jensen basically uses the, the higher their defense the more damage they're able to dish out so right here he comes out with a lot of defense uh let's go over his uh, TMR first Heroes Vow Earth Boots HP and Earth Resistance by 30% Defense and Spirit by 20% and LB Gauge Fill Rate which is really good because his LB is actually really really nice then his Super TMR uh Attractive Shield Defense 85, HP 30%, and boost earth resistance by 80%. So really, really cool. That HP 30% is really, really good. Uh, he's able to cover for magic, cover for uh, physical. Also, he has an innate 50% draw attack. He has 100% provoke. Uh, like I said, he's able to basically this here, full break charm, 
damage and uh, reduce attack, defense, magic, and spirit and chance of charming one enemy. Basically, it's a 50% break to all stats, which is really, really nice uh, from a tank. Also, is uh, I think he has right here. Sorry, I'm looking to the side. He has mind charm and uh, basically block charm, where he's able to break spirit by 60%, and he's able to break the uh, defense by 60%. So his moves are actually really, really nice. Uh, he's a really good tank. His limit burst when you max it out, seven star, and it's maxed out. It's basically a. I'm gonna go down here. I just want to say the right thing. Uh, basically, AOE. 8,690% uh, modifier physical attack with defense as attack and it's 45% uh, damage reduction for 3 turns to your whole party. So this is really really good. So if you guys are able to basically uh, keep spamming his LB every 3rd or 4th turn, um, your party is not going to take that much damage and his break is actually really really good, 50%. Uh, yes, I'll take it. So Siege Art, really really good unit. Uh, if you guys have some good tanks already and you don't find the need to pull for him, don't go for it. But if you're still lacking that good tank or a good breaker, uh, he's not that bad. Having that 50% break uh, at all time is really, really nice. So, Siege Arts, we're gonna go for you on Friday, my friend. We're gonna try to bring you to the party. Then, the second star, basically our first four star going to six star. Diet Lind, I said Diet Lind indeed. Uh, high on attack. Basically, your Trust Master is really, really good. Gun Mastery, so you guys are going to be able to boost your attack by 50% when, when equipped with a gun. And uh, it's pretty much uh, one of the, the good things she has. She has Head Snipe, deal critical damage and reduce magic and SPR for one enemy. Uh, Smart Shot, deal partial unmitigated damage to one enemy and fills own LB gauge. And Machine Gun, Parasol, critical damage to one enemy and boost LB gauge fill rate. So, uh, we're going to have to go more in detail. I'm probably going to do a uh, banner review on Thursday so you guys can stay tuned for that just in case we're gonna see exactly all the stats of all the character then there's Teal Bald he's a magic user uh, let's go over his stress master star trail attack 62 it's a whip magic 125 which is really really good just it's a whip so a lot of characters can't use whip but Dark Fina can use a whip and uh, that thing could do a lot of damage so Let's go over his featured abilities, Aqua Philosophy, Water Damage and Reduce Water Resistance for one enemy, Exquisite Silence, I like the name of that, Boost on Magic and Enables Aristocratic, Aristocratic Katina for one turn, and Aqua Authority, uh, Water Damage to all enemies and Power Up with consecutive use, so almost like a water job where every time you use it, you just keep building up the multipliers until a certain amount of turn. Then. Uh, the three star going to five star. Uh, let's just go over the TMR because that's pretty much the only thing we're gonna go for. Uh, Cannon's blade attack 105. It's a sword enables two stands, uh, two blade stands. Basically, you're able to equip two swords, so a little bit like the aqua blade, where you're able to equip a, another sword in the other end. So uh, this is not bad. I gotta say, siege art. Oh yeah, we're gonna go for you because your limit burst is gorgeous. Is gorgeous and you're a really good unit. So, two more things before we stop. We're gonna get another raid, so the Fan Festa raid. Uh, you guys are gonna be able to find the king, the king, a metal, a metal gigantuar. So it's gonna start on uh, Saturday. Yeah. So on Saturday, basically, this is gonna start from uh, December 8th to Sunday. December 9th so it's gonna be only two days guys so we're gonna have to farm this like crazy uh, you guys we're gonna be able to get some trust Moogle some four star tickets and this is the really cool part right here so as a community we need to work together to make sure that we defeat uh, level 10 boss because we're all gonna get 500 lapis if we defeat level boss 20 we're getting another 500 lapis defeat level boss 30 we're getting another 500 Defeat level boss 40, another 500, and if we defeat level boss 50, we're gonna get 3,000 lapis total. So over the course of the weekend, if we all do this, we all, you know, beat the boss as much as we can do, uh, we're gonna get a total of 3,000 lapis, which is really, really nice, and we're gonna be able to um, to get so, to get to gate to get some good equipment. So we're gonna be able to get some four-star tickets and also some uh, trust moogles which 
are always good to have. So this is going to start Friday and base, uh, start Friday. It's going to start Saturday and finish on Sunday. So we're going to have two days to basically beat the boss as much as possible. Then the last piece of news that we got, which is really, really cool. I love when they do that. Um, they're not saying it's a 5% rate though. So I'm still going to keep my tickets because basically a four star guarantee ticket is always good. So what we're going to do is uh, log in each day during the event period to receive a fan fest 2018 seven ticket daily so it's gonna start on thursday uh after maintenance you guys are gonna get one ticket which is good so we're gonna be able to get a total of seven tickets off from thursday december 6 to wednesday december 12th uh we're gonna get one ticket every single day so players can use a fan festa 2018 seven ticket to perform one fan festa 2018 summon the fan festa 2018 summon pool only consists of four stars and above units so seven tickets with guaranteed four star which is really really good and you guys are going to be able to pull a five star maybe in there so fan festa 2018 summon period uh from thursday december to uh december 6th all the way up to thursday december 20th so make sure you use your tickets by december 20th or else you will lose those tickets and not be able to use them so find the fine festa 2018 summon right here you guys are going to summon boom click there and it's going to be right here and you guys are going to be able to use your tickets so what i'm going to do i'm going to be i'm going to be doing like the last one of the celebratory summon ticket i'm going to keep all my tickets and on the wednesday when i get my last ticket most probably i'm going to do a summon with those seven tickets and hopefully if you guys want to join me you guys can keep all your tickets and we're going to summon together in one video so that's really really cool and uh you know what free tickets free summons it's always good so guys let me know down below if you're going to be summoning for mr siege art and if you do please leave a like down below on this video subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace